we are on our way out of Santa Barbara, just fueled up and heading towards Channel Islands here at about noon or just a little bit after. Beautiful hot day here, nice little breeze from the west, so we should be on a nice beam reach. What do you say, Kat? Uh, oh my gosh, I love Santa Barbara. We had a very lovely time here. We made a sweet new friend who worked at the sup store here and sounds like she might be out in the islands too and just how she was describing Santa Cruz Island with the wildlife and clear warmer water. I think we're really gonna like it out there. So good time being here and good time to move on. Super nice standing out of the gate here, going six knots. Really nice after a couple of frustrating days in a row where the winds were really inconsistent. We only got 20 miles to get across here and the seas are really nice, just a pretty gentle two foot swell or something, we barely notice it. Sea Dream is just galloping across. Hey buddy. Yeah, these might be a different species. Oh, there's one right here. Here they are. Come up. Come up. There's one right at the bow too. Dolphin show! That was sweet! That was so awesome. I love the dolphin. Tons of wildlife out here all, all of a sudden. There's lots of dolphins fishing and even a couple of sea lions were in the mix while they were fishing kind of together, which is, I've never seen that before. I've never seen dolphins and sea lions fishing together. We can see more dolphins uh, off in the distance here and clumps of birds, so I think we're not done yet with the wildlife across Santa Barbara Channel here. We were steady at around four and a half knots for a while, but back up to five and a half. Uh, cat's doing pretty good. She's a little sleepy, but um, keeping her food in her stomach and without medication today. So just being a 20 mile crossing, she didn't really want to use a patch up or anything on that. Um, and so far, pretty good. I would say it's a positive step. Hopefully she agrees. Cat was on watch for a while there too, um, while I was doing some video editing for all y'all to enjoy. Sleepy cat getting a view of the whales here. Sleepy, this is what happens when you drink the night before. <laughs> Stay up late. Yeah, we enjoyed some of my new cocktail making skills of just one drink, a whiskey smash, though I keep not having the mint. Tasty though, too tasty. Something that's really important when you're sailing many hundreds of miles, or now over a thousand, is checking on stuff. It's something I always do in the sailor seat anyways, but uh, checking a little more often here and did find something loose today just by glancing. This little spot on the uh, Genoa, um, the Allen keys have gotten a bit loose. So just gonna go ahead and tighten that up. And it's one of those things you only see when the sail's unfurled. So with all the swell we've had most of the time, I haven't really been hanging out up here, um, but we noticed that when the dolphins came by a little while ago. Hold on. We're in Prisoner's Harbor now, anchored up, ended up in about 16 feet of water, it dropped the anchor in 25 feet 
and no other boats. So we just let lots chain out down to the road and no problem holding, of course. We're gonna head to shore, gonna have a quick bite to eat before we do that and just go for a walk, get off the boat that's been rolling around for the last five hours for us. Good morning from Santa Cruz Island here at Prisoner's Harbor. We spent a fairly nice night on the boat. It was a little roly-poly with some wind waves, but still manageable and really sweet last night. We watched the moon rise and it was just just past being full and just so beautiful coming over the horizon. Um, we also saw some fish darting around and jumping out of the water, which was really cool. Um, you can hear behind us that there's hummingbirds and there's dolphins, there's just so much wildlife. So we're going hiking today. We don't really know where we're gonna go. We're just gonna make decisions as we go. Maybe we'll get to the other side of the island. So this island has lots of interesting history, uh, dating back many thousands of years. There would have been indigenous folks living here up until the days of the colonizers showing up. The Spanish were here and then other European colonizers. And there was a lot of animals grazing here and wineries, I think we read on some of the boards. Um, really dry, mountainous island. And it's uh, got roads all over it, which we're hiking on right now from the days when there would have been ranching on it. Just down below us here, there's a wetland that the National Park Service has has reclaimed as wetland. It was filled in by, by the uh, colonizers here and made for more grazing kind of terrain and whatnot. But yeah, it's a pretty neat spot and we're looking forward to exploring it. Give me a shot for you. Like every colonized place, there's lots of invasive species around here. And I'm pretty darn sure fennel is not a natural one out here. So there's just everywhere. It smells nice though. <laughs> just looking to the south now from the top of Santa Cruz Island here at the ridge top. And you can definitely see the, what I believe is the Santa Ana winds blowing. It looks like it's blow, blowing a good 20 knots down there at least. Really gorgeous up here. Nice breeze, temperature is so nice. And we're definitely anchored on the correct side of the island. It would uh, be very bumpy down in any of the anchorages down here where it's totally exposed to that breeze. We're heading up to some peak here on the hill. Foot penetration is about uh, 10 centimeters in pretty fresh leaf litter. Nice. Up on this little peak, we had lunch on the foundations of what remained of an old radio tower. The views south were fantastic, and the breeze up there was perfect to keep us comfortable on this hot, late October day. We're just walking down pretty close to the little ranch there, and close to the campground now, and then we're going to follow a trail that loops around. Just pretty nice, getting off the main road here. A little grass on this one, softer on the legs, and it's pretty neat. Yeah, following this trail, you can see other parts of it. We're going to be doing some ups and downs, a little more interesting just the road. We are at a lake, in theory, says the map. I don't think I'm going swimming here. <laughs> a lake on a desert scrub island in California. <laughs> Ephemeral, no doubt. Back at the beach, and we went on a very nice nine and a half mile hike up to Mount Pleasant on Santa Cruz Island. We're gonna go back to the boat, eat some popsicles, and I think I might inflate my sup and go snorkeling a little bit. Pretty. It's a beautiful calm morning here in Prisoner Harbor. Basically no swell at all, the boat's hardly moving, and just savoring this. And it's warm out already, it's so nice. Getting my sup inflated. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. It is already so hot. <laughs> yeah, briefly some waves started showing up from the east, a little bit of Santa Ana wind blowing, but now it's mellowing right out and there's almost nothing left. Just flat, calm everywhere. It's great, cat's gonna go supping. <laughs> when 
we are heading ashore. I'm getting a taxi ride on Cat's sand up outboard. And then I'm gonna go snorkeling, maybe Cat will too. Yeah. We'll meander around, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful hot day. Super nice. While there wasn't much to see in the water here aside from the occasional colorful fish and lots of mussels, it was nice to get in the water to cool off while Kat enjoyed trying out her new sup. We're having a lovely day here in Prisoner's Harbor. It's hot and calm and really mellow in the anchorage. As mellow as we've seen any of these open type anchorages. Super enjoyable. And just been swimming, snorkeling, not doing a whole lot. And Kat is just heading off on her paddleboard, and I'm gonna follow her with the dinghy in a minute here. And we're gonna go and check out Pelican Cove around the way. <laughs> I just motorboated here, and Kat stand up paddleboarded. And we're just gonna check out this cool little beach we came across right beside Pelican Cove. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's really beautiful. It looks like there's a gabe up on the hillside there, yeah. which is cool. And yeah, it looks very different than the other side of the island <laughs> that we were on yesterday. Yeah. We'll have a look. There was mention of a homestead somewhere on the island, and maybe it was here. All that was left of it was the agave and a few other trees. So I'm wondering if that's what's here. There's a little concrete right here as well. And some eucalyptus trees, which are non-native. So maybe this is the spot somewhere around here. Pretty interesting little nook here, it's beautiful. We really enjoyed our time at Santa Cruz Island. Much to our surprise, we had the place pretty much to ourselves despite the wonderful summer-like weather and being so close to huge population centers. After our little beach walk, we checked out Pelican Cove and its beautiful cliffs that are home to tons of seabirds. After that, we headed back to the boat to enjoy our last evening anchored at Santa Cruz Island. After three lovely nights here at Prisoner Harbor on Santa Cruz Island, we are getting ready to go. There's a little breeze blowing behind us here, it might get us a few miles, but we need to start making some tracks. So we may pull over at Scorpion Anchorage, not too far away, seven miles away. Then once the afternoon and westerly start up, then we'll continue to Anacapa Island another 10 miles after that. So that's what our day is looking like so far. It's just uh, beautiful out here. Super peaceful, calm night last night here. So we're going close hauled on our way to Anacapa Island, and it might be the first time on this trip that we've been doing that. Woohoo! We're having a nice surprise sale. Ah, it looked like there was some. Ah. Hold on. We're having a nice surprise sale. There was a. We could see this breeze in the distance, but we didn't expect the angle and velocity to be as good as it was. So we're nearing the end of Santa Cruz Island, and we're just going to tack and head over to Anacapa Island, where we'll probably chill out for a little while, do a little lunch hook anchorage, and then might sail across to Malibu tonight on the westerly to just get that ground covered so we're not just, uh, rushing to get to our marina that we're going to leave the boat at when we head up north. Just tacking back and forth along the spectacular shore of the east end of Santa Cruz Island. There's all these sea caves and stuff, and it's pretty mellow out. I wish there was a little more of a bank here we could anchor on and go for a little exploring, but it looks pretty rocky, so we'll just have to enjoy the view. All right, guess what we have found out here? Yet another balloon. So I'm turning around. We got Trevor up here. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. We'll have to do another lap. We're coming in for another round. Trying to get the said balloon. Nice. Happy birthday. Oh, another birthday. What, this is our sixth happy birthday? Happy birthday. 
Inhalation of helium can be harmful. Never breathe in helium. Do not release outdoors or near electrical power lines. May cause power outages. Oh, that's intense. Howdy. We are anchored at Frenchy, Frenchy Cove is it called? Frenchies? Frenchy? Frenchy Cove. We're anchored at Frenchy Cove at Anacapa Island. It's beautiful here. And cat likes our hats. And we're going to go dingy around and check out some caves that are just to the west of here. So off we go. We get a little obstacle course, a little racing track with yeah. all of the crab or lobster traps that are set too. Yeah. Be fun. Yeah, luckily there was a little gap in the anchorage here. We would have gone a little closer to shore, but there, this was a fine spot we found 40 feet and let out the road. This anchorage is not super protected and there's a little, definitely a little more roll than our last anchorage, but it's still pretty good. The boat does look like it's wobbling quite a bit, but on board it didn't feel that bad. up there. Whoa. <laughs> so we're just checking out this cave here. I think it's called Frenchie's Cave. It's pretty cool. There's fish swimming around and stuff. A little bit of swell. I didn't go that deep, but pretty neat. I don't think I'd want to sleep here, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> Anchor in here, Seadream? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, pretty cool exploring along here. So many little cliffs and nooks, and there's sea lions in this little cave here. The cave with a little beach in it and one gull. Just going for a little stroll here on the, the east end of West Anacap Island. Day use only, sorry, no camping. Sorry. Look at the mountain, that's so cool. Wow, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, that's so cool! Bigger ass, uh, bigger southerly swell, eh? It's a pretty beautiful wild island here. I watch these waves, but super desolate feeling even though we're really close to one of the biggest cities in North America, Los Angeles. Really cool. When we got back to the boat, we saw a nice little breeze blowing, and with the anchors being so rolly, we decided to continue to Malibu this night. <laughs> Well, as you can see, the wind has completely died now, but we're just gonna enjoy the old drifting anchorage styles as the sun goes down. It's a beautiful silhouette of Anacapa Island behind us, and we're coming up to Arch Rock, which is gonna be kind of nice in this light. So we're just gonna savor it, and then once the sun dips down, we'll, we'll start powering after dinner. And the forecast is for the wind to come up a bit more later, so hopefully that is true. Otherwise, it's 25 miles. I don't know. We gotta get there. The forecast looks no better tomorrow, so. We'll uh, do what we gotta do tonight. Hopefully it includes mostly sailing. Maybe a little salt and pepper on this too? Sure. Well, like we'd asked for, the wind came up right after we finished dinner. We're just past the east end of Anacapa Island now and 27 miles to Malibu where we'll anchor tonight. It's probably sometime around 12, 1, 2, depending on what the wind does. We're pretty happy just to slowly sail along and then we'll sleep in. 
not much wind forecast for tomorrow. So this is just a nice way to do it when the westerlies are forecast to happen this evening. So they were starting to build up here a little bit. Let's see what happens. Beautiful sunset wrapping up and the wind's just trying to kick up slowly. We ended up having a great sail into the night. Dolphins swam beside Sea Dream of Clyde almost continuously as the moon guided us to a wide open but calm anchorage off the mansions of Malibu. Coming up in the next episode, we continue to Los Angeles and then on to Catalina Island. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now!